What evil lurk in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. This is the chassis as it appears just as I've uh, taken it out. A couple of things worth noting. There's our uh, on-off switch. This switch is between uh, AM and shortwave, and this uh, operates our tuner. Have a look here on the back side. Here we've got our uh, big transformer, got a big rectifier here, got our uh, variable capacitor, which is our, actually our tuner. This is how it looks on the uh, underside when you flip the chassis up. For the most part, it's in pretty good shape. I don't see anything uh, anything leaking right from the get-go. You can see a big uh, multi-unit filter capacitor here. Another uh, electrolytic capacitor down here. <clears throat> now, generally speaking, uh, you want to uh, change out some of the uh, electrolytic capacitors on a machine like this. So what I did. Uh, before starting is I actually uh, use the schematic care of the internet and I uh, located and uh, labeled all of the uh, capacitors so that I knew exactly what I had and from there I uh, placed an order online and uh, received a whole whack of new ones so these are uh, these are the 2007 vintage, and these are the originals. And those big ugly paper capacitors, we're going to replace them. All right, then we've taken the radio out of the cabinet. We've got it up here on the bench. I took the speaker out, took the entire chassis out. I've left the knobs on it so as I can uh, turn it on, turn it off, and try to tune the radio. I've got all the tubes in place, uh, just where they're supposed to be. Before I start, though, um, with an older radio like this, an old tube radio like this, you got something here like the like like the uh, like the power transformer. Now, now this transformer has possibly been sitting around for 30, 40, or more years. It's entirely possible that this transformer has developed a short. Now, if it has developed a short, if I go and just plug it into the wall, and there's a short. Uh, there's all kinds of bad things that can happen. The thing could melt. The thing could fry. I could get shocked. Who knows what else? So there's a very basic test that you can do with a radio like this to make sure that one of the very common components that develops a short, which is a transformer, uh, is actually all right and the radio is going to be safe to plug in. Now, the way that I do that is uh, with this little gizmo here I built. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, it's just a light bulb. Uh, but more than that, the way I've wired it, I've got it plugged into the wall up here. And the light bulb is actually wired in series um, with the power supply to this chassis. So what that means is that all things being equal and this chassis is drawing the amount of power that it's designed to draw which is about 60 watts this light bulb should not burn or if it does burn it's going to be just a faint glow. If this chassis has a short and it draws far more power than it should this light bulb First of all, it's going to limit the amount of power it draws to about 60 watts, plus it's going to glow bright. And I'm going to know that this thing is shorted and the light bulb is protecting the circuit. So, uh, what I'm going to do then, um, the way to do this is, uh, is you have to figure out which one of these tubes is your rectifier. Um, in this particular case, this, this tube here is the rectifier. Now what a rectifier is, uh, a rectifier is the component in, in a circuit like this that converts your AC power uh, into DC power. It converts your alternating current into direct current. So it's, it's this component here that smooths the waveform down to a smooth line uh, because uh, most of the components in here uh, use DC current. Now in order to check to see if the transformer itself has a short, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to carefully take that rectifier out. 
Now the power is going to come in right to here. I'm going to plug it in. Now we're going to watch the bulb. We're going to watch the chassis. If there's no short, I think we might see this bulb light up just a bit or not at all. If there is a short, this bulb is going to glow brightly. Here we go. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but over here on the bulb, what it did is it glowed briefly for about a second and then went, went away. And it's no longer glowing. So that's telling me that there is no short in this transformer. All right? We'll turn it back off. Now we're going to put the rectifier back in. We'll line up the pins. Now with the rectifier in, all the components are in. Now what I would expect to see is, when I turn on the power, if everything is working properly, the rectifier should glow, a little bit up here in the top. The light bulb should glow just a little bit, because it's going to be this chassis that's drawing the 60 watts. And this bulb's not going to be drawing much of anything. If there's a short, well, this darn thing might explode in my face, but hopefully this light bulb will light up. It'll, uh, it'll light up to its full 60 watts and limit how much power is going to go to this circuit here. So uh, with everything connected, I'm going to turn it back on and we're going to see what's going to happen. Now see the light bulb? It's just barely glowing. And if we listen, here comes the radio. Ah. Tune it a bit. Windows shut during a snowstorm. Good advice. Yeah. Good advice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's funny, you know. You can't just say hunker down. Well, the radio obviously so works, but it's got a hum. You know, it's probably an outside consultant. And that's what we're going to start working on next. Now that I've completed this test, I'm confident that I don't have a short in my transformer, and this is going to be safe to power up and work with. Seriously, you know, the longer the meeting, the harder you're working. So that's right. The shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs>